get a free copy of Athium software using the link provided in this video description. When you sign up for an Athium Designer free trial, you will get an Athium 365 and 25% off discount. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we will learn how to design a PCB in Athium Designer. The circuit that we want to build is a motion sensor with ESP32. So we will go from schematic to the PCB and finally we will get a 3D view like this. So. Let's get started. First, we will create a new project. So we will go to File, New, Project. Then we will change the project name to Motion Sensor. Then we will select the folder and hit Create. Then we will add a schematic and PCB to the project. Then we will save the schematic file and PCB file to the same project file. Then we will go to the schematic sheet. This is the circuit that we want to build. So we need an ESP32 and motion sensor and buzzer. So we will go to manufacture part search. Then search about the component. First we need ESB32 right click then place then we need USB connector Then we need buzzer and finally we need the motion sensor. Now we will connect the component according to the circuit. If you want to know more information about any component in the circuit, you have to go to Octopart website and read the data sheet of that component. Now we want to convert the schematic sheet to a VCB, so we will go to Design. Update PCB document, then validate, execute, then close. Then we will select all the component and drag it to the workspace. Then we will delete the room and rearrange the component as you like. Now we want to change the port shape, so we will go to view, port planning mode, then we will go to design, 
edit board shape. Then we will change the board to fit all the components. Now we want to draw the cover tracks between the component. So we will go to route, go to route, all, then route all. And close. Now we want to add a polygon to the circuit. So we will go to tools, polygon boards, polygon manager. Then we will select board outline and top layer we will connect it to the ground and we will remove the ditka part and we will select pour over all same net object and apply okay then we will do the same thing with bottom layer Now we want to view the 3D model of the board, so we will go to view, 3D layout mode. This is the final shape we got, hopefully this video will be useful for you, and thank you for listening. This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics and Octopar, the fastest search engine for electronic parts.